it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We are here today to do some more PlayStation VR 2 news. As you can see, I'm still in the new studio. I've got new mic. I'm coming tomorrow, so hopefully things won't be as echoey. It's still work in progress. Anyway, we are here today to do some more PlayStation VR 2 news. We're gonna talk about the game called Sharks, because who not want to be a shark and eat other fishes? You might be able to do it on PlayStation VR 2. Also, we're gonna talk about 7th Guest. We've got some info about this game. And also a nice article from IGN about Microsoft claiming that Sony is releasing PlayStation 5 Slim for cheap. So we're gonna talk all about that. Let's get started, let's get going, let's get small. Blah, 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 blah. So here we are. Okay, so we're getting from this game. And this is Izon.com, the developer of Game Sharks. You see a little gif here. I'm gonna play you the trailer in a minute. Uh, as you can see, sharks fighting here. I'm gonna tell you all about it. So basically, the developer says, please like this tweet. If you want to eat sharks on PlayStation VR 2, uh, so seven likes of now, probably more. I retweeted it. Um, let's refresh this page and see. Uh, eight. Wow, I make such a difference. Uh, but yeah, if you want it, uh, like it. I think it's um, maybe I don't know. Maybe they want to show Sony that there's interest in their game. I don't know how things works uh, when it comes to developers wanting to release their games on other platforms. But I'm assuming it's probably gonna come. So now let's check out the trailer. So as you can see, this is the title screen. And here you are, a little happy shark eating a crab. Oh, a waste. Uh, and the zombie sharks chasing you. The, those zombie sharks, you have to avoid them. Oh, some divers, why don't you eat those? Uh, so yeah, you can be a shark. Oh, an octopus even uh, greet us with its presence. You've got some shark with uh, missiles on sides, very nice. Um, playing with tires. This is an online game, by the way, an online shark game. Wow, that's you can have those <laughs> customizations in this game. So yeah, that's what the, this shows. So basically, if you go on their Steam page, uh, it's so loud. If you go on their Steam page, uh, the game says, Eat your friends in Sharks a cross-platform PC and VR, so flat people play with VR people. Multiplayer hunting game. Hunt with groups of up to 10 people online. Eat whatever you can to survive and avoid the zombie sharks. Last player standing wins. It's, a, it's like Gorilla Tag, but with sharks, basically. That's what the developer says. So yeah, if you want Gorilla Tag with sharks, if, you, if that's ever crossed your mind, then the sharks is for you. It's out as an early access, it's got demo, uh, demo, so yeah. So 10 people, VR control, super responsive. Okay, so that's just more info about this game and our screen. This is, you can see your customizations and stuff. Uh, what are you waiting for? Get your friends to download sharks for free and start eating each other today. I don't know if many people downloaded it because there's no user reviews, but hey, who knows? Games like that eventually might become popular. Okay, another story I want to talk about is this seventh guest. So what's happened is the VR dimension, the, the interview with the developer, a lot to take from it. So I'm gonna put it in the description, uh, uh, but we're gonna concentrate a bit on this small little take from it about PlayStation VR 2 stuff. With the game coming to Quest 2, Steam VR and PlayStation VR 2, what did you find was most interesting when developing the game for multiple platforms and how will you be incorporating the PlayStation VR 2 features such as the haptics and eye tracking into the game? And they said it's always a challenge developing for multiple platforms, but we set up the project so that it can scale up with more powerful platforms. And the PlayStation has very interesting features. With eye tracking, you can uh, delve into the intricate details of puzzles by focusing your eyes on specific pieces. Nice. And areas within the room through foveted rendering. Cool. And the haptics give that extra layer of tangibility, which helps a lot, as we have a lot of items to interact with. I'm gonna put all of that in the description. There's interesting uh, bit here about uh, the game being for you know uh, mobile VR and PSVR 2, but not on PC. 
and the developer basically saying how many different headsets, different control options, different input options is out there on PC. And that's kind of, yeah, maybe making it harder for the developers to develop for PC those days. So yeah, Seventh Guest remake of a classic game. I'm sure it's going to be great. Uh, check out this uh, in the description. When it comes to the release date, uh, they say in the Seventh Guest VR is coming out this year. Do we have release window when players can expect to play? And all they say is you can expect to run the Forbidden Stauff Mansion sometimes in 2023. So at some point this year. Uh, okay, and this is from IGN. <laughs> and this is interesting article. So I was thinking I'm gonna put it here. Sony expected to release a PlayStation 5 Slim later this year, priced $399. Microsoft says IGN, now, you know, take it with a pinch of salt. Of course, Sony and Microsoft battling because Sony don't want Microsoft to buy Activision and Microsoft wants to buy Activision. So basically, Sony trying to play down how good they are um, and what they've got in the future. And Microsoft does the same, playing down how really weak they are, like, you know, putting themselves on the least <laughs> great spotlight uh, and also trying to big up Sony. Uh, and Sony does that same with Microsoft. It's quite funny. But anyway, with that amount of money, I'm still think this sale gonna go ahead. There's too, money, too much money involved. Somebody wants this money. Anyway. Microsoft believes Sony will release a PlayStation 5 Slim later this year, priced $399 according to court document. The document was released as part of the Federal Trade Commission versus Microsoft trial to determine the fate of proposed preliminary injunction against the $69 billion wow buyout of Activision Blizzard. In a paragraph on price, Microsoft attempts to convince Jules Jacqueline Scott, currently the Nintendo Switch, should be considered in the same market as Xbox Series console, that's crazy, and the PlayStation 5. An argument it believes boosts the image of Xbox as losing the console war in third place. <sighs> I think Xbox then done themselves favors last time around when they proved when they in good place, as they was after Xbox 360, that when they got this big market share, they really not about consumer. That's how I'm seeing it anyway, and more about income and profit as they proved uh, with the, you know, not being able to sell, use games, being always online and stuff like that. I think they showed their true colors back then and people remember to this day. That's when they lost. That's, that's, that's when it's, that's when it's all went. Uh, that's how I see it. I've had the Xbox 360. I liked it, but uh, it shows that basically Microsoft is all about the money, not consumer ones. They in a place of, you know, in a good place anyway. It's the final sentence in the paragraph that sure to ruffle Sony boss Jim Ryan's feathers as it only outs the long rumored existence of PlayStation 5 Slim, but it's price too. IGN has asked Sony for comment. PlayStation likewise sells a less expensive digital edition for 399 and is expected to release a PlayStation 5 Slim later this year at the same reduce price point reads documents. Interestingly, they might know it from Activision themselves, I don't know. Because Sony said they won't be able to talk to Activision about their future consoles, but maybe they did on Slim and that, that's how Microsoft knows. The bombshells continue with Microsoft saying further down Sony is also anticipated to release a handled version of PS5 later this year for under 300. This is in relation to Sony announced Project U, a handled game streaming device that wirelessly connects to PS5. Sony has yet to announce release date and price. Hmm. The existence of PS5 Slim wouldn't come as much of a surprise given Sony has released Slim version of its previous consoles. It's released a PlayStation 4 Slim that replaced the standard PS4 model in 2016 as well as a beefier PS4 Pro that launched shortly after PS5 launched November 2020. It's mental. That's like three and a half years ago over. Yes, in two. Yeah, three. Wow. Nearly three. Yeah, two and a half. Never mind in two forms with a disk drive for 499 and without a disk drive for 399. Microsoft, however, might take a different approach. In June, Xbox boss Phil Spencer said he doesn't feel an imperative to release a mid-cycle Xbox console upgrade. Of course, they won't. Nobody. <laughs> Who who's, who's buys it? Uh, and I'm not being biased here. I own all the console. Three years after the release of the Xbox Series XS consoles, Microsoft released the Xbox One S three years after Xbox One was released. 
a more powerful consoles the Xbox One X was released four years after the origin the Microsoft naming is terrible as well before the origin came out so let me know what you're thinking do you think we're gonna see PS5 Steam anytime soon let me know in comment section and for now that's it I see you all later big big shout out to all the patrons and that's it bye 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 bye